Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and this is episode 6 of Know Your Poison. Today's poison, nicotine. Nicotine is one of the most common poisons we have covered so far, as it is a drug found in all tobacco products. An estimated 1.1 billion people worldwide smoke tobacco. In the United States, consumption is somewhat lower at 20.8% of adults in 2006, and is declining. However, tobacco consumption is increasing in the developing world. Getting back to nicotine, it is an addictive substance present in quantities of up to 3% in dry tobacco. After being inhaled, nicotine quickly enters the bloodstream and crosses the blood-brain barrier, reaching the brain 10-20 to 20 seconds after inhalation. Nicotine binds to nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, which are a type of ligand-gated ion channel that can be activated by nicotine or acetylcholine. This increases the levels of many different neurotransmitters. Nicotine has a higher affinity for the brain's acetylcholine receptors and the receptors in skeletal muscle that will bond at high enough doses, potentially causing contractions and respiratory paralysis. An interesting thing about nicotine is that it is both a stimulant and a relaxant. Nicotine causes an increase in acetylcholine, which increases concentration. It also releases adrenaline, also known as epinephrine, which makes one more alert. Norepinephrine, also known as noradrenaline, can cause arousal and is also increased by nicotine. The increased levels of acetylcholine and beta-endorphin reduce pain. Beta-endorphin also reduces anxiety. In general, short, quick puffs create a low level of nicotine in the blood, which increases nerve transmission and produces a stimulant effect. Long, deep puffs raise nicotine levels and cause a sedative effect by depressing the passage of nerve impulses. Side effects of nicotine at low levels include increased blood pressure and heart rate. Higher levels become quite toxic, however. 30 to 60 milligrams of nicotine can be fatal for the average adult. About 1 milligram of nicotine enters the body from smoking one cigarette. Since nicotine has a biological half-life of two hours, it is unusual to see an overdose from cigarettes alone, especially because smokers have built up a tolerance and the LD for... And the LD50 for smokers is closer to 120 milligrams. Overdoses are usually the results of taking nicotine through multiple methods simultaneously, including smoking a nicotine patch and nicotine gum. Poisoning results from the overstimulation of cholinergic neurons. Symptoms experienced are similar to those of organophosphate poisoning. Fun fact, both nicotine and organophosphates are used as insecticides. Remember, while it is unlikely that you will overdose from smoking, nicotine is very addictive and can be very dangerous in high enough concentrations, so it is important to know your poison. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Instead of ending here, I will leave you with a bonus fun fact. This video mentioned acetylcholine and norepinephrine, both of which can be seen in this channel's banner.